I think the most talked about product of this Cyber Monday was the suicide. Oh capsule. yes, <laughs> yeah. You um, you didn't. You told me about that. I saw Barcelona wrote about it. I did not click on it. I think kind of like the same way. I don't uh, own Listen a gun oh, okay. because uh, like if if I owned a gun. Not not because of like a, a real life suicide. Just accidentally, I would find a way to fucking kill myself with it. <laughs> if you so, read about a suicide so pod, I'm just gonna end up end up stumbling into yeah, one. Yeah, I'm just gonna blood. end up somehow with a like. I wouldn't trust myself standing next to a suicide pod. I feel like if you read about a suicide pod, it would just be on your mind, and you'd be like, you'd slowly convince yourself that you should like, buy don't one. Don't touch the white wet paint type <laughs> yeah, of thing. Like, I, well, now that I know this exists, I have to get one. Yeah. Uh, so I, this is like the big story. We're gonna get targeted advertising now for suicide pods. <laughs> God, let's see. It's a new suicide machine with detachable coffin lets you kill yourself anywhere, anytime. Australia's best known euthanasia activist. Great thing to be. Dr. Philip Nitschke is back in the news. I'm Dr. Philip Nitschke. I like to hop around all day with all my friends. Do you want to kill yourself? Oh, boy, I have the machine for you. Is life getting too hard? The machine will allow anyone who has the access key to end their life by simply pressing a button. Uh, you know, it also is a machine that lets you do that. Like everything. A gun. You push everything. The, if a you car. A swap fucking swap out trigger. Uh, swap out button with trigger. There you go. There's a suicide machine. Uh, developed in the Netherlands by Nitschke and an engineer, the machine can th be three D printed and assembled in any location. When the person lies in the capsule, he can he can activate it. Well, that's just very presumptive that only men want to kill themselves. Problematic. Well, as, I mean, kind of reflective in the news. There are mm. probably a lot of men that want to kill yeah, themselves. That's actually these days. true. Yeah. Uh, he can activate it, and liquid nitrogen will la rapidly drop the oxygen level, leading to death in a few minutes. A few minutes? Exactly. What the that's, fuck? That was my very first problem with this thing. Ugh. I don't want this to take a few minutes. If I'm buying like an expensive machine and I'm pushing a button to kill myself, I better be dead in five seconds. Oh, five seconds? <laughs> Instantly, anything longer than instantly is ridiculous. <laughs> oh my uh, god! But it, there's quickly a, a more absurd detail. Uh, the novel feature is that the capsule can be detached from the Sarco machine and used as a sleek and shiny coffin. That's kind of cool. It's like one of those uh, black box uh, rat trap things where it's like you don't ever have to see the dead body. Oh, it's just like you you get in and then once you're dead, they just pull you out and there's your coffin. They bury you in it. But very quickly, the machine base can be reused. <laughs> I'm not fucking I've grown reusable. accustomed to a certain like level of depression. I'm not using some fucking like hand me down death machine. A reusable death machine. I want I also like I'm very curious about the features of it. Uh, are there speakers inside? Do you get to like play some music? While you die, because if I'm going to, like, die from lack of oxygen in some sort of machine, I'm just going to go in my car and plug the tailpipe and listen to some good music. And that'll I'll be dead within five minutes and I'll get to enjoy some nice tunes. I don't know if you'll be dead within five. I think you'll be unconscious. What's the difference? Uh, if you die. Well, like you, so, like, mentally, it, there's no difference. But I think that someone could come in and save you. Hmm. So is that, like, not possible with this thing? I, I don't it. know if I, I want to. You fucking lost me a 3D printer, man. <laughs> like, I wonder if there are uh, like, how do you get reviews on this thing? Like, how does it get? A, how does it get a, like a five star rating? Very good question. It's like nobody who's in a position to give a review really fucking knows. I'm gonna review it with zero stars and be like, the picture is deceiving. Its legs are way too fucking long. <laughs> it stinks. Brunch, hit it, boys.